welcome back to my channel. It's Dana. I have a swatch video for you. Let me know if you guys like this style of video. Just a few, a few polishes, a certain brand. This is what motivates me to actually swatch the things that I purchase. It's absurd, I know, but uh, this is what motivates me to do that. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. These are usually pretty short videos, uh, which are easier to watch. I know not everyone likes really long videos. Some people do, but. Some people, you know, we're, we're trying to to appease everyone, which is impossible. So today I have a swatch video for some Smith & Colt polishes. Stacy, uh, Keizu Beer Girl, I'll have her Instagram link down below, influenced me to uh, purchase some of these because they were having a 70% off summer sale and that meant the polishes were, I think, $5.40 each. I have tried Smith & Colt polishes before. I really, really like them. So I think normally they're $18. That's a little much for me. I don't really think any nail polish is worth $18, if I'm being very honest. But $5.40 I was all about. I actually purchased four polishes, but there are five on this tray behind me. So I ordered them. They shipped, I think, the next day. I received them by FedEx. Everything was wrapped really nicely and really well. When I opened it, there were only two, well, there were three polishes in the, the box. Uh, this first one, <laughs> and then I think this pink and maybe the blue one. And I said, well, this is not what I ordered entirely. <laughs> so I emailed them and they responded very quickly within hours. And it was, I think I emailed them on a Saturday or something. And they responded, if it wasn't that day, it was the next day. It was very fast and they said, oh no, no problem, you know, we, you know, we're, we're human, we make mistakes, and <laughs> which is fine. I, I'm never an aggressive person when it comes to contacting customer service. I, I, I'm just not that person, so I just said, hey, this is my order. I received these three and I ordered these four and... This is how my order came. <laughs> uh, so they were very nice. They sent out the replacements immediately. I got them like two, maybe three days later. It was very fast. And then um, I asked if they wanted me to send the incorrect polish back, and they said no. And uh, we're going to get to these swatches now. The first polish is called Condomini Hustle. It is a true red polish. This one covers new coats. I, you know, I, red isn't my color of choice, but this had an amazing formula. It covered very easily in two coats. There were no issues with the formula or coverage at all. It is a red, so if you get it in your cuticles, it's going to be super fun to clean up, but that's a red. That's not the polish. And uh, that's that's really all I have to say about this. It's two coats of Kundalini Hustle. The next polish is called Palace in Wonderland, and this is a pink shimmer with like blue reflex in it. Uh, this one I'm showing you in three coats. This would probably look better as a topper over either you know a pink if you want a very if you want tone on tone. This would probably look great over black. Um, this would it would look great over a lot of things, but I'm showing it in three coats. You can clearly see a lot of my nail here. It's not at all opaque in three coats but it's not really meant to be. I just wanted to see what it would look like in three coats because I would love to wear this color, you know, on its own. I think next time I'll just layer it over a pink. I don't know why. I wasn't thinking when I swatched this. I didn't do that. Next one is just called Poppy Pappy. Or is it Poppy Poppy? I'm not sure. But it's like Poppy the flower and Poppy person. This is a red orange. I love a red orange. I love a red orange. This is sort of a curly-ish formula. It's opaque in two to three coats. The swatch is showing three coats. You can still see a little bit of my nails at two coats, but it wasn't a lot of my nail. It was just, and it covered evenly. It didn't look patchy or anything, so you can totally wear this in two coats, but you're going to see a little bit of visible nail line. If that really bothers you, you're going to need the third coat. So the swatch shows three coats, but you can definitely wear this in two coats and the formula again was really nice, really smooth. It leveled really well. No issues with the formula at all. And that is 
happy. Next up we have Sarah Blue. I had to get my my blue and my olive, you know? I couldn't I couldn't not. And this is just a beautiful bright blue. It's a bright dark blue. It's not quite cobalt, but it is oh, it's just a beautiful blue. It covers in two coats. This sort of has a similar formula to the previous polish as you might be able to see a little bit of nail line at two coats, but it's not the most noticeable thing. Uh, especially if you have very long nails or very white nail tips, you, you might be able to see a little bit of your nail line. But it covers evenly and it looks even. It doesn't look like, oh, my nails are showing this didn't cover evenly. Nothing like that. The formula is great. And that is Sarah Blue. Lastly, we have Stranded Stranger, the olive green of the bunch. I couldn't say no to olive green, you know? I can't do it. This is another two coat polish. Really very consistent formula among all of these. I didn't have any leveling issues. They didn't run, they didn't pool. I didn't have any, any problems applying any of these colors, which is always so nice. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've had a difficult polish to work with. And I know some of that is preference for how we apply nail polish, and then, you know, a lot of that is also the formula. And it's just so rare to find a bad formula that, that it seems so repetitive, but these were all really nice to work with, and that is Stranded Stranger. Cap does come off for these, so then you apply it using the little guy. It does have a thinner brush. It's not terribly thin, but it's definitely not a paddle brush. It applied the polish as well, but I mean, ultimately, would I like a paddle brush? Yes. But I know not everyone does. That's just my preference. However, this brush uh, didn't give me any issues with it. And that is my swatch video for Smith & Colt. I know... I, I don't know where Smith & Colt is sold in stores anymore. Uh, they used to be sold in Ulta. I don't think the nail polish is everywhere, at least not in my Ulta stores. But uh, I've tried several of their polishes before and I love their Glitter Baby, what are they called? These guys, their Glitter Baby eyeshadows. I have like five or six of these and they're so pretty. They're, they're not glitter. They don't feel chunky, like chunky glitter. I love those. I haven't tried anything else from the brand really that I can think of. Maybe I've tried one or two things. Oh, I've tried uh, one of their liquid lipsticks, I think. That was really a pretty color. Anyway, let me know if you guys have tried any Smith & Cole polishes or anything else from the brand. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.